All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. It's been two weeks since I last uploaded, and well, I'm back. So before I go too far into this video, I want to update you guys on my upload schedule because I am changing it over the upcoming weeks, I guess, the next few weeks, if that makes any sense. So every week now, I'm going to take two days off, which means there will be at least five days of uploads per week from now on. I'm going to try to also space a little bit of content out so that when I'm not, you know, making content or whatever, for the day on those two days i still have uploads but we'll see how that works just a little bit of a change to the upload schedule nothing too crazy doesn't really mean less content i don't think i'm just kind of tired of taking these big breaks you know what i mean and then just disappearing for two weeks it's really fun uh, it helps me clear my mind and not uh, be burned out from youtube but at the end of the day i feel like there's a better way to go about this than doing this so with that being said i am just extremely hung over today i don't know if you can hear it in my voice uh, i'm definitely not feeling the best I am absolutely hungover. I have been drinking water like a fish trying to regain my composure, if that makes any sense, and uh, it's just not working, man. So I tweeted and I was like, hey, what do you guys want to see for videos today? Uh, I'm hungover and everything, and you guys were, you know, talking about doing, oh, do a drunk story time or, you know, something like that, right? You guys were hyping up this idea of uh, mixing this kind of topic into a story time, and you know what? I haven't done a story video in a while now, so you know what? But I guess it's time. So today I'm going to tell you the story of one of the first times that I ever got absolutely shit-faced. And when, when I say we were plastered, all of us, it, it was insane. It's one of the first times that I ever got actually drunk, you know? And uh, it, it's a pretty fun story. There's a lot to it. So this probably was... 2020 i think if i recall correctly around that time right you know i, I know there's gonna be the people oh bro but what about the pandemic how, how dare you bro you you really went to a party during the pandemic yeah i did i went to a party during the pandemic you guys want to arrest me now I'm a fucking monster, aren't I? Well, uh, it's 2020, right? It's like, I don't know, eight or nine months in. It's like September, so, you know, it's a little later in the year. Uh, and basically, me and my friends decided we were going to have a party. And it was going to take place at my friend's house because his parents were, like, either out of town for the weekend or they were actually cool with it most of the time when we had parties at the house anyway. But as long as we weren't too loud or, like, being overtly just ridiculous to the point where, like, the cops could get called, which did happen at one of our parties, by the way. Maybe I'll tell that story a different time of the times that the uh, the cops busted our party but anyway we decided we were gonna have this party and everything because well we finally had a space where everybody could kind of i guess go to and actually have this entire party at and whatnot so we all decided that we were gonna do this right and to be honest it wasn't like some project x crazy party where you know people were jumping off the roof into a pool in the backyard or something crazy it wasn't anything insane like that you know it's probably just like a dozen maybe 16 of us or so at this party uh there's this big backyard at this house and we were having a uh, like a big bonfire in the back so we have a bonfire there's like this back porch with lights and stuff that we could kind of chill out chill out at and like sit at and whatnot uh, and then there's the actual house inside which is a pretty nice house by the way so we have a, a pretty good amount of space right now uh, it was me my friends my big friend group and everything and then a bunch of other people also ended up showing up from like people's jobs or like their other friends and things like that right keep in mind up until this point i hadn't really gotten shit faced at least not I hadn't gotten to this degree, you know what I mean? Uh, I had probably been drunk a few times, but I was never to the point like I was at this time, right? So everybody's here, we're all having a good time. You know, it's starting to get a little later into the night and everything. It's probably about 9 o'clock, 9.30 at this point. And that's when we first start drinking, man. And we had pretty much everything here, man. We had beer, we had wine coolers, we had vodka. We had just everything, man. We had bottles on top of bottles. Everybody was having a good time. We were playing music and everything. We had like some yard games set up, you know? It was just a good-ass time, man. Just a good old-fashioned little kickback, you know, with a, a, a good amount of people, I feel like. I don't really like parties where there's like a hundred people there. First off, I have social anxiety, so I, I just don't do well in these massive situations full of people, especially ones I don't know. I'm cool if there's like 10 or 20 people I don't know at the party, you know? That, that's fine with me. But other than that, like, if it gets beyond that, it just, it becomes a problem. So, at this point, you know, everyone's kind of 
you know, relaxing and everything and having a good time and whatnot. So at this point, you know, we're starting to drink at, you know, because now everyone's actually here and whatnot. So we're starting to actually get into everything. And, you know, I, I have this weird feeling for some reason. It's like an over cockiness that I can just, I, I can handle it. You know what I mean? I, I can hold my liquor and everything, right? I'm, I'm pretty good at this, right? I'm, I'm going to be all right. I've been drunk before. I have some experience. Well, uh, this night I was humbled extremely. So we start actually getting into like, you know, the vodka and everything, all these other situations, you know, it, it, it's gotten beyond just sipping on beer, which by the way, I'm just going to say it. I fucking hate beer. I don't know if I'm the only person who just doesn't like it. Beer actually tastes like garbage to me. Like it, it just, it's so terrible, man. I, the only like actual beer that I can personally drink and like it is Corona. Other than that, man, I, I just can't get down with it. I, I don't like beer. So I'm hyped at this point, right? I'm like, I can finally get this shitty taste out of my mouth. We were drinking Bud Light. Like, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of Bud Light. I don't find it good. I don't find it entertaining. It wasn't getting really any of us drunk. I'd had like two or three, right? So I was like, you know what? Let's get the actual bottles out. Let's get the, the real alcohol out here. So we started getting into the bottles and everything. And my favorite alcohol is just vodka. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird, but we actually started off with Kamchatka. I don't know if you guys know what Kamchatka is or anything. I actually have some. People around here call it Shitty K because it's just cheap vodka you can get pretty easily, right? When we were getting absolutely plastered off of Kamchatka in this Midwestern backyard, and everyone just starts acting like fucking idiots, you know what I mean? We're all fucking screaming the lyrics to our favorite songs. We're, you know, at that point of drunkenness where you start to have issues with your mobility, you know what I mean you're trying to walk and like everything feels fucky you know you're, you're like looking around like trying to gauge what's happening around you and shit you're not completely plastered and just unable to function or anything but you're definitely not sober anymore you couldn't drive your car home and we're all having a good time you know and uh this is for whatever reason when people got the the absolute greatest idea actually you know what I'm not even gonna blame it on everyone else I'm pretty sure my drunk ass was the one who came up with this idea so I mentioned that we had a bonfire right right? Uh, like the, and it was a big fire. I'm not going to lie. This is like a big fire pit. You got to think this is like outside of the city limits. So you can actually have like a, a decent fire without the police and everybody showing up. So we're around this fire that at one point is probably like five feet tall, you know, like a decent sized fire, just burning all this brush and stuff that was put down on the fire pit. And people get the idea probably from me, uh, to start jumping over the fire, right? So people start taking turns, like lining up and like, we're all recording as like everyone will run and jump over the fire. And there's a couple people who, you know, are like fucking idiots who like, you know, that the flames lick their legs or something when they jump over. One person actually tried to jump and they like, didn't jump far enough. And like one of their legs landed in the fire and they had to like jump out of it real quick to not get fucking just toasted. So we did that for like a half hour before that got boring too. And uh, this is actually like a weird personal memory, right? Like I remember this part like extremely vividly, right? This is actually how I started talking to my girlfriend. So I'm at this party, right? And we're done jumping the fire and being fucking stupid. We're back over by the porch. We're drinking and everything again. We always have like a table set up to play beer pong at and shit like that, right? So there's just, you know, people playing beer pong. There's people sitting around, you know, taking shots, drinking. We're all like just vibing out to the music. I, I remember it like so crazily. Like I was sitting on the, uh, like, the back steps going into the house, right? And I'm like going through social media and this chick posts on social media and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, right? Like what? what's the worst that can really happen? You know what I mean? I'm completely shit-faced at this point. I probably, I'm like a dozen shots deep plus everything else I've drank in like an hour and a half, right? So I said, fuck it, I'm a slide up. You know what I mean? So I, I slid up and I, I just started texting her. You know what I mean? And that's how shit actually started between me and my girlfriend. I was shit-faced at a party uh, she posted on social media and I slid up. Yeah, so I don't know if it was the alcohol that gave me the uh, the nuts to slide up or what it was, but it's a pretty good chance, I guess, if I was never at that party, right, that that would have never have happened. I don't know. I mean, I probably wouldn't have been drunk at home by myself, so. But yeah, I got shit-faced and I ended up texting my future girlfriend that night, so. Anyway, that's not the end of the story or anything, but that's just one thing that did happen at this party, right? She wasn't at the party or anything, so I just texted her and everything. And throughout the rest of the night, right, like I'm texting this girl and everything. And at the same time, I'm getting completely fucking plastered, right? Like, I, I continue to drink with all my friends and everything. Now, there's two characters I want to introduce you to. Now, these people were complete strangers to me this night, right? This was the first time 
time I met them. One we'll call Vapey, okay? Now, Vapey is the stereotypical vapor, I guess, is the only way I can really put it. This guy would pull out his flavored air USB stick, hit a complete fucking blinker on it, and then would blow the cloud of smoke into anyone's face who was nearby. This guy had absolutely no remorse or shame about himself. He was just walking around in this drunken party, in this drunken mess of fucking idiots in this backyard, hitting that stupid raspberry flavored USB stick that he had, and had no idea how to just not blow it in your face. Like, just absolutely loved the concept for some reason of like walking up into your personal space and just exhaling cancer air into the air like it, it, it got so fucking annoying so quickly he was doing it to everybody too like he i once again i didn't know this guy before this so i feel like it's just weird to walk up to random dudes at a party and just be blowing fucking vape air in my face but he was doing it to all like the women who showed up he was doing it to like everybody bro it was just so fucking annoying i didn't talk to him once and thankfully i never saw him again after this. I don't know if that was because everyone got tired of him blowing vape air in their face or if he just never showed back up. Now the next one we'll just call him what everyone calls him. Pukey. I'm sure you could guess what his vice was, but yeah, it was throwing up literally every time he showed up to one of our parties. This guy came to probably four or five different parties that we threw over the course of like four or five months. Probably not even that long, to be honest. And at every single function he came through, he threw up at. This guy was like the fucking king of vomit. It was insane. Like, it didn't matter what he was drinking, you know? He could have done some light drinking. Guess what? He's throwing up in your backyard. He could have gotten completely shit-faced. Guess what? He's throwing up all over your back. Bathroom. In fact, at the last party this guy showed up at, he ended up throwing up so hard in the bathroom that he shit himself in the bathroom. Yeah, so Pukey ended up with shitty butt at one of our parties. So, uh, this guy was like a co-worker of one of my ex-friends. You know, he, he, uh, he, he went to like a local college and everything, so he acted like a frat boy, you know, he thought he was like hot shit, I guess. He like stereotypically walked around, I, like he just looked like, I, I know this is gonna piss off some of you people who get triggered easily, but like, he looked like a stereotypical frat white boy, you know what I mean? Like he walked around in like the fucking white khaki shorts, the fucking Nike shirt that you can get for your local college at like Walmart, you know what I mean? He had that shit on with like a backwards Boston Red Sox cap on or something, you know what I mean? just walking around looking for any excuse to throw up that he could. And I, I remember this part too, like really vividly. So uh, we're sitting at these chairs by the campfire. This is like getting later into the night. At this point, everyone's shit-faced. Like my friends were literally just passing back and forward this massive bottle of Kamchaka vodka. And they were just fucking, just taking as big of a drink as they could. They were like borderline falling in the yard type shit. I mean, we were absolutely out of it at this point, man. Thankfully we were at my friend's house. So like we didn't have to, you know, drive home or like find rides home obviously you can't drive home drunk so like the only option everyone really had was to kind of like stay there or try and find a ride at 2 30 in the morning which no one could do but yeah uh, i'm sitting here and there's three of us right so it's me on the right and then on the far left is one of my best friends we'll just go ahead and call him donovan right so we got me and donovan and then in between me and donovan we've got pukey right so we're sitting by this fire and dude is just like going on about some stupid shit to be honest with you i don't even remember remember what this guy was talking about not only was i completely fucking drunk but he was I, I just wasn't listening man like is that too hard you know like is that too mean to say i just wasn't listening to this fucking idiot he was like yelling about some girl problems he was having or something you know and i'm just like okay i i honestly don't give a fuck but i mean go off king you know and uh i, I look over to my left at pukey and donovan right away from the fire and this dude just leans forward right and and there actually is like another girl or whatever sitting far side by Donovan, right? And this dude just leans forward and fucking throws up everywhere, dude. Like, it, it was easily the most vomit I've ever seen in my life. This guy puked for like two minutes, it felt like. This guy absolutely was dumping vomit all over the place. It, it was insane, dude. Like, he looked like a vomit hose. It was nuts. And me and Donovan make eye contact, right? While this guy is just fucking up chucking all over the backyard, right? And we just bust out laughing like i know that may sound mean right but like i couldn't help it you know this guy's fucking going on about something that like no one's listening to and then of course he just throws up everywhere you know and to be fair he had drank a pretty good amount that night you know what i mean it wasn't like this guy wasn't drinking like the rest of us but i'm just sitting here like fading in and out basically while this guy is vomiting everywhere just dying laughing with one of my best friends on a nice summer night it's honestly a pretty good memory i know a lot of people you know they don't 
like to drink, they don't like to go to parties and have fun, but personally, it's pretty enjoyable for me. I have a lot of other stories, I guess, from parties that we've thrown and stuff that I can tell in the future, but this is one of the first times that I really got completely shit-faced. And it actually led to some pretty good outcomes, which I feel like is actually rare. You know, a lot of the times when you hear stories from people, they're like, oh, bro, I got completely trashed last night. They ended up, you know, fucking trying to drive home and they total their car, or, you know, they get in a fight at the bar, or something stupid, right? But I ended up getting a girlfriend watching this weirdo puke in a backyard and had a really good time with my friend. So I guess not too much to complain about, you know what I mean? Not too uh, uh, bad of an experience. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subdoptimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, telling you the story of one of the first times I got drunk, hung over, in fact, and signing out.